All right. Hello, everybody, and uh, we have picked up a new game here. Actually, it was a free game. Uh, it is the latest and maybe greatest, we don't know yet, in the Five Nights at Freddy's series. It's a uh, Freddy Fazbear Pizza Simulator. I have caught a little bit of the ending of this, and holy crap. Now I'm just that much more interested to see how this goes. So, of course, our first step, we're going to go ahead and assign <clears throat> pizza toppings and stuff. For those of you unaware of the Five Nights at Freddy's series, it is kind of like a survival horror sort of thing. Um, dodging crazy animatronics. It's turned into some weird supernatural versus robots versus people with poor children being thrown in the mix and apparently stealing souls on top of that. Long story short, TLDR, it's like a supernatural murder mystery. And over the course of several days, we have all kinds of crazy storyline, a lot of who did it, a lot of people trying to fill in the blanks, and needless to say, I enjoy the story, and now this is the first time I'm actually giving one of these games a playthrough, so I'm probably going to suck at it, but why not? We'll see how it goes. So let's see, what type of, what's, uh, let's see, mushroom, pepperoni, and peppers, there you go. There you go. There's your sausage. So now we're going to go to a pizzeria. Okay. Throw a pizza. over the screen? What is going on? Okay, that took a dark turn. I'm... And the game glitches out. Oh, wow. Nightmare Baby. only paragraph prompt results additional notes okay that's baby from five nights at freddy's sister location for those of you that don't know uh william after the person that designed the robotics right where you see this little device that device was actually meant to capture kids these robots were designed to capture kids and then someone had the bright idea to put them in pizzerias surrounded by kids so they're really kind of messed up and disturbing in their own right and now seeing her like this well she's definitely seen better days apparently if my guess is correct the prompt here is to press this little button begin tape leaving dead space <coughs> three I'm not one. 
The purpose of this tape is to test automated response times and reactions from vintage interactive attractions following audio stimuli. If you are playing this tape, that means that not only have you been checking outside at the end of every shift, as you were instructed to do, but also that you have found something that meets the criteria of your special obligations under paragraph 4. Follow these instructions, document response what times, paragraph then four? safely secure the space before leaving. Upon sealing the room, you are not to return. Begin audio prompt in 3, 2, 1. I don't like this. I'm going on record, I do not like this. And that Document also hurts results. my ears. Begin audio prompt in 3, 2, 1. Document results. Begin audio prompt in 3, 2, 1. I'm supposed to mark them down. Ow. Document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Uh oh. That's baby. That's her. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's really not good. It's a new day. It's your time to shine. It's time to take your career into your own hands. What I you want to do with my money, life, your whole not life. go with that Great. chick. Now it's time to put all your eggs into one basket and take a huge gamble on your future. You're not a supposed gamble to do that. that comes with a 100% chance of success in some cases. This. What are we talking about? We're talking about becoming a Fazbear Entertainment franchisee. Oh, That's right, God. restaurant ownership and management. Something almost anyone can do with a limited degree of success. Sure, it's a lot of money to invest, but everyone's doing it. And invest that means a lot it's of money safe and lucrative. Nothing to lose With but your college tuition. Investment, you'll receive everything you need to get started. Things to run away from real room, fast in this some series, tables, folks. And electricity. But don't forget about the money you had left over after buying your franchise package. Use it to decorate, buy a stage, buy attractions and animatronics, and much, much more. Why now, would let's you do take this? a look at a few things that will help you get started as a fast Things to never do investing. Such as Atmosphere. Making sure your establishment has an inviting atmosphere is the essential is to so bring in new customers. What is the cheese? Entertainment. So green? Having a lot of entertainment value in your restaurant will ensure that customers come back. <laughs> Bonus revenue. Coin-operated games and attractions can generate additional revenue during the day, which, which means will all more be out money of your in your pocket, ready for reinvestment. Ready Health for and reinvestment. safety. There may be times when you purchase something of questionable quality, and we don't blame you. Cutting corners is just good business. But what? there are steps you can That's take bad to ensure business. you don't get sued for it. I and can that reduce us casualties? Liability. Being a thrifty shopper is smart, but be aware that so buying as things as on you sale comes with a certain amount oh of my risk. God, what the hell? Aside from the daily risk of lawsuits, there's also the risk that something might be hiding inside whatever you just purchased with that steeply discounted is price something? tag. Of course, that would only be a serious danger if there were something outside that's been trying to get in for months now, which we are not confirming to be the case. That sounds awful this like a lot the like of help confirmation. We are legally obligated to provide. Remember, you are now the face of the newly rebranded Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Is that before or after that the animatronics with pride rip it off? And let's make some money. Something's Fazbear been trying to get in for months. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for disappearance, death, or dismemberment. I'm not one sure I want to know where this fits in. <clears throat> so, something's been trying to get in for months. They don't want to be held legally obligated. It's like if my landlord decided to run a pizzeria. Actually, it's exactly like if my landlord wanted to run a pizzeria. What the hell? Something might be hiding inside. And you put all the money down, they put nothing, and they get something out of it? Anybody that's followed the, uh, 
Five Nights at Freddy's franchise will tell you the establishment is shifty. Like, they make corporate greed look saintly. <clears throat> Alright, so let's see. We use catalog mode to purchase items, animatronics, other supplies. Blueprint mode to place items and upgrade the floor plan. Alright, let's see what kind of nightmare we're in for. Let's oh, hey. see how much cash you had left over after purchasing your franchise package. Great, that should be more than enough. Now let's get started. On your left are your product catalogs. You can unlock more expensive catalogs by simply purchasing items for your pizzeria. Use the arrows in the bottom right of the item window pit. to browse the products Liability for each catalog. Risk. When you're finished shopping, click the button labeled Blueprint Mode to place your items. You can switch back and Paper forth between Catalog Mode and Blueprint Mode as often as you like before opening your doors to the public. When you're ready to Single open your stage. restaurant for business for the day, click the button labeled Finished in Blueprint Mode. Give it a try and do some shopping. Bucket Bob, a light animatronic. Mr. Hug, Mr. Hugs is a vacuum cleaner. I, I, I can't even. I'm gonna try and click on this guy. This is one of the toy versions of the animatronics. Paper pals. I remember these. Oh, it doesn't let us get into those. All right, so we're gonna buy that. things with them. That's a new one. Happy Frog. Mr. Hippo. Ned Bear. Okay, that's new. Pig Patch. This is Happy and Bouncy. I don't know what could possibly go wrong.
got a bonus. Cool. Alright, so let's see what else I can get. <coughs> that does not look healthy right there. You see that? There. You can see that there where there's like the wires sticking out. This is, uh, Fazbear is not really known for its entertainment. Let's see if it puts it up there. Hey, cool. That's actually a neat little design. And I'm sure these are what was based on the original animatronics. Before stuff hits the fan. I don't like that. A cage. A crate. Is that an animatronic? All right, let's just go on with this. Let's see how this pans out. Your restaurant is now officially open. Awesome. That doesn't mean your job is... Is. Whenever it cuts like this, I get a little bit nervous and repairs to make. Once you've taken care of all the items on your to-do list, you can log off for the day and get out of there. Money for supplies and repairs comes out of petty cash, so don't worry about it coming out of your pocket. We've got you covered. The only money you have to worry about is if you choose to upgrade any of the equipment in your office. Now, onto other matters. Something to be aware of is that the ventilation system and your terminal are pretty loud and may prevent you from hearing things in adjoining air vents. That won't be a problem if there is nothing in the vents. However, if you feel that something might be in the vents, you have a few tools at your disposal to protect yourself. You I can shut like off this. your terminal and the ventilation system at any time to decrease the amount of attention you are drawing to yourself. Also, what? shining your light directly into a vent will most likely prevent anything from jumping out. You also have three tools available from the terminal itself. There is a motion detector, an audio decoy, and a secondary ventilation unit. Keep in mind, however, that you can only have one of these active at any given time. Now get to it. Simply log off when you've completed your tasks for the day, and you can go get some coffee. Oh shit. So after a while, it will roast you. I don't like these pictures. Damn it. die on the first day.
clown. I do not like this clown. Don't like this. We have the, 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 the we have the clown. We have Foxy with the hook. We have the oh god. This is what I was afraid of. Wait, is that someone about to? Okay, they're eating pizza. Okay, that's good. Still going on. I'm gonna get scared shitless at some point. I already can tell. That stupid clown face. I do not like that clown face. He won't let me. I would like to think nothing will happen. Damn it. Okay, it's scanning. That's good. I don't like this. start with that one first. Because if they're events, that means that's where these damn things are going to come out. where these things are coming out, I'm not going to have a moment to rest. Motion scanner, okay. One more to go. Seriously, why would you have wide open vents like this? These look like they've even been torn open. And considering what they were saying before... Oh, hey, that's... Oh, that's equipment. Okay. Ha. <laughs> yeah, like I'm gonna hire a... Great job. It looks like you're getting the hang of this. Now let's just focus on getting you through your first week. <laughs> There's a big party Fuck here yeah. Saturday, and you should view that day as your ultimate test. Make it through Saturday, and you will have proven yourself as the successful entrepreneur that we all know you can be. If you're still alive and haven't been made into a Freddy Fazbear trademark included face mask. Just whatever kid wants for Christmas. 
Congratulations on completing your first day. Oh, However, crap. your job isn't over just yet. There is another aspect to your end-of-day routine, and that is inspecting and salvaging oh, no. any animatronics found in the alley outside the back door. Oh, Things no. are found here quite often, and while we aren't sure why, what we do know is that they can be used for parts, which can mean a much-needed revenue boost before starting your next day. Of course, as with everything else in this line of work, those benefits come with risk. You think? The safest thing to do is to throw it back outside, but then you get no money for the salvage. Choose to keep it, and you run the risk of certain negative consequences, namely death, should the item in question not be as docile as it first appeared. What are if you trying you to tell me here? If you to try to salvage it, then you must complete the maintenance checklist. During this testing phase, check on the animatronic frequently. If you feel that it is becoming unstable, Use the taser provided to you. You can use it three times without damaging the hardware. Every use over three, however, will decrease the item's salvage value. Before you is an animatronic found in the back alley. We are unsure of its origins. It is your job to complete the maintenance checklist before claiming it as salvage. Or, Why? if you choose to, you can throw it back into the alley where you found it and forfeit payment. Please make your choice now. Sure, we'll go with it. Let's proceed with salvage. You have chosen to proceed with the maintenance checklist. Remember, use your company-issued taser to return the animatronic to a neutral state if you feel that it's becoming unstable or aggressive. You can only use what? it three times before it begins to damage the animatronic and decrease its value. Swarm. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. is on the taser. Document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. When you freak out on me and I will I will tase you. I will tase you like a stereotypical cop. I don't Document even care. Document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. One. You move and I document will. results. Whoa! Holy shit! I lost more than the salvage. Holy shit! <sighs> I lost my mouse, I lost my shit, and I lost the salvage. And something is loose in my pizzeria. Great! And that's only day one! Why are they throwing stuff near my pizzeria? I just want to serve pizzas. I just want to serve pizzas. And probably fried chicken. That was fucked up. <coughs> March down. Purchasing a bulky comes with a moderate risk of something undesirable inside. I have a bad feeling about this. I could get it for 37 bucks. We're gonna go with no. What's 
my sponsorship arm. Okay, I'll take that. And now we upgraded it. Fun pop soda. supposed to be a secret somewhere in this. Nice! Alright, so I'm at These are the Five Nights at Freddy's 1 animatronics. Oh, this one has been marked down. Something undesirable might be hiding inside. You think? Oh, now they're available! You little shit. Candy Cadet, come get your candy here. I have candy all day, every day. Candy, candy, candy. What? Return to Candy Cadet again, and maybe I will tell you a story. What? What? 
and I will tell you a story. All right. All right, let's play your game. I am a candy cadet. Come get your candy here. I have candy all day, every day. Story. Candy, candy, candy. Return to Candy Cadet again, and maybe I will tell you a story. You know what, we'll do this one more time. <sighs> I am a Candy Cadet. Come get your candy here. I have candy all day, Where's every the story? day. Give me the candy, story! Candy, candy. Return to Candy Cadet again, and maybe I will tell you a story. I guess I have to do this another day. Nice that you can get all kinds of interesting stuff from it. time because last time I kept getting hit this is only a time I'll get hit once all right that's 678 let's see if I can go back and get one of these so I guess I know, in honor of the brain frog, we will go with happy frog. And... Everybody likes hippos. I like hippos, but... Liability risk? Why does this one have a liability risk? <sighs> Let's go with the banjo pig. Let's go with froggy and the p piggy and frog. Hey, it's Miss Piggy and Kermit all over again. Sure, what could go wrong with that? Aside from everything, but who cares, right? Oh, I should have gotten the carnival hoops. <coughs> all right, so blueprint mode. singer and we have a banjo player and like that we've entered deliverance territory only for kids let's try this one more time I have four tokens left let's see if I can actually get through this I will get 
Scotty's made a fun game. A, there was a secret that was right there in the bottom corner. Okay, we may have found one of these. Let's do this one more time. I think I just found the secret that we were going for. Let's see if we can get this shit. All right, now I'm jamming. One. It's on the bottom. see it too.
leave him alone tonight? He had a rough day. Okay, who are they talking to? He had a rough day. to close your door. I wonder if this is an allusion to Five Nights at Freddy's 4. This might be the dad coming home. This is my house. He can't ignore me like that. Open the door. Oh, shit. This is already getting really weird. Oh, wow! This does not bode well. Something broke in. If you look at the bottom here, something broke in. And there are paw part, or not paw, but yeah, actually no, I take that back, there are paw prints. And look in the corner right here. Right there. Big footprints. As I was saying in the beginning, these animatronics were designed to capture kids. It's speculated as to what happened to them afterwards, um, but I think his kid got grabbed. Ran off to that place again, he'll be sorry when he gets back. Wow, that was dark. That was dark. Sounds like it's a good time for some mac and cheese. Mm-mm, mac and cheese. Where did my lemonade go? Sweet lemonade. Alright, so now that we've done that... <clears throat> I am the Candy Cadet. Come get your candy here. I have candy all day, every day. Candy, candy, candy. Return to Candy Cadet again, and maybe I will tell you a story. Back to our catalog. We wanted something cool. Liability risk. Hey, I like the hoops. Who doesn't like hoops? Let's get the hoops. Time to mention that I was never good at those things. 
already there is something that's in there and that means tonight because we have let something in now something will be trying to eat me them bears man them bears See how bad this shit gets. see anything so far. Motherfucker! Oh, shit. See? Okay. Uh, holy. Wow. Uh, okay, guys. I think that's a good spot to stop for the night. Oh, my God. Ah. Uh. Oh, that's a good spot to stop. And of course, I got eaten by the damn bear. I think that is where we will stop for today. Round one. Day two. Whew, and this is already getting weird. Pardon me as I collect everything that I have just, like, thrown all over the place now. Thank you all for watching, and, uh, yeah, we'll try this again soon.